So now that so many people are using Google Classroom, especially with younger kids, an issue is how do I get photos of my child's work and activities up into Google Classroom? Currently, um, parents and students are emailing their teachers, which is a lot of work for the parents, and then a lot, a lot of work for the teachers. And so Google Classroom is actually built to be a place where you send the stuff. And so we're going to look at how to send the stuff. And the easiest way to do that is actually to add the Google Classroom app to your phone because that's where you take all your pictures. And so what you would do is you would go into your app store with an iPhone or your Google Play store and you would um, add the Google Classroom app. And so you can see I've got it right here. So if I click on that Google Classroom app, it's going to open up. And the very first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to check in this top corner, top right hand corner, to make sure that uh, the student's account is connected there. So if you are already on Google with your phone, it might automatically read you. And what you want to make sure is that you add another account and you must add your student's email account that they use for school that would be connected to their Google Classroom. You cannot add yours, it has to be your students here. So we're going to do that. If we needed to add a student, it would go to a page like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our class and we're going to pick language arts at the top. So we click on that. Now, what happens is uh, we are in the stream. So if you see in the bottom left, it shows that we're in the stream right here. And this is kind of a mess. I wouldn't recommend that we spend a lot of time in here. Anytime that your teacher assigns something new, it's going to go on the top. What you want to do is you want to click on the icon in the bottom middle there where it says classwork and you see that this is all nicely organized into sections. So we're going to go into the grammar section and we're going to take a look at the assignment that's been posted. And so when we look at the assignment we can see all of the instructions here. We can read through that. It, it's got how to do it and where to find different things that we need. And then we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to uh, flick up on the little arrow to see your work or we could click assigned. Now, when we see that, what we're going to do is we are going to click on Add Attachment. And when we click on Add Attachment, we get this option menu that pops up. So we can do all sorts of things here. We can add something from a Google Drive. And again, the student, you'd need to have the Google Drive app on your phone, and the student would need to be logged into that. Um, you could send a web link. Um, like a YouTube link or something. If you already have the cam, the photos on your camera, you can pick photo that would go to your photo um, roll. Or what we're going to do here is we're going to pick use camera. So you're going to see me pick up my phone and I'm going to take a picture of my work. Now I've got my work sideways, so this is actually going to go to my teacher sideways. I'm going to click on use photo. And now what I'm going to do is if I wanted to add a comment, I could. Um, but now if we see at the bottom, it is loading. So it can actually take a long time to load. This file took about two minutes just for a single photo as it compresses. And then the important part is we are going to make sure that we press this turn in button. And so that's really the key thing there is to click on that turn in button. It'll say, are you sure? And now you'll notice that it now goes, the turn in goes away and we have an unsubmit. So if we made a mistake, we could go back and do that. I'm going to add a private comment here. I can add something to the teacher. So once I've hit turn in, you'll notice when we come back to this page, that turned in is, the, is grayed out down here. It's no longer an option. Assignment that I had is now grayed out. So all the blue ones, I have not completed those yet. Those are still outstanding. The assignment that I just turned in or submitted the photo for is now gray. So that shows me that that's done. So that is the easiest way to get photos into Google Classroom.